Good morning, guys. God bless you. Carlos here with Serrano's Mobile Detail in Dallas, Texas. Thank you so much for joining me in today's video. Uh, well, due to weather, I had to reschedule appointments. Uh, it's going to be raining here for the next good couple of days, maybe the next week and a half. But anyways, um, I am so excited, guys. I finally uh, made a purchase that I think is going to help my body. Um, in the long run <laughs> um, but I'm excited to show you guys this new product that I purchased um, and hopefully it benefits some of you guys so stay tuned and we'll be right back let's go oh. <laughs> Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. that was flat <laughs> Hey guys welcome back i don't want to make this video very long i want to keep it nice short and sweet for y'all but i am so happy i'm so excited that i get to show you guys this product that i purchased all right so we are going to be talking about stools today all right or i call them polishing chairs because that's mostly what we use them um for a minute guys i have been eyeing these kinds of chairs but i just could never really pull my trigger on them because of the price some are a hundred dollars like the mechanics which by the way i'm not digging it guys y'all make a beautiful chair a beautiful stool uh, it is beautiful bright green caught my attention but i just couldn't pull the trigger on it i was really close to doing it because it just looks so beautiful it looks well built and i'm sure it is a beast of a chair but that one was like 129 i think when i saw it all right uh, and then the next one I was looking at was the DeWalt um, because it looked like a NASCAR seat. It looked pretty cool. Nice padding, you know, but I think that one was like 85, I think, on Amazon, maybe 60. Uh, and then I was looking at a Griot's one with a little like, it looked like a, like a little board. Um, and I just, I, I just couldn't pull my trigger on any of them. I even went to Harbor Freight um, because I love Harbor Freight and I just couldn't um, really pull the trigger on those either. So long story short i went on amazon and i was looking um and i was like let me let me browse around let me browse around and see what i find and i finally found the one guys uh i bought this one for two reasons one the price the price was just phenomenal and two the color guys so the store the mechanic chair mechanic stool aka i call them the polishing chairs the polishing chair that i purchased was the when uh, mechanic stool all right guys and let me show it to you guys real quick let me put the bottles down and then we'll talk a little bit about what i like about it and what i wish maybe we could do a little bit better but the good outweigh the small little uh bad so it is under nine pounds guys nine pounds very light it is not heavy guys and it is pretty solid guys pretty solid as you guys can see it has some nice uh nice little orange wheels obviously guys so i may ding it right off the bat because it didn't perform well in pavement but guys my pavement has more cracks and all my bones broken combined so um don't ding it on the pavement this thing performed very well in a garage environment or a nice flooring so if you have a shop if you have a garage your customer's garage this chair will perform really nicely all right so other than that little spall this thing is perfect all right the padding the padding is really nice guys it holds 250 pounds so i've sat on this for almost a good 30 40 minutes and my body feels really well it's not like oh i gotta get up and stretch it has felt really really good guys all right what don't i like about this what do i not like about this product um other than this platform right here guys and i know many of you guys are going to be talking about it is this little platform all right well do we wish we had um some cabinets so we can put our stuff yeah of course but that outweighs it guys that's really minimal and i'm gonna bring the camera down so you guys can see a little bit of how i would organize my stuff of course there is i'm gonna be doing some um little ads little add-ons to this and and see how it does all right so my pads obviously my pads probably are gonna go back here you know and then i have to reach back here to get the pads you know some people won't like that but it is very minimal guys for me and next you know obviously your bottles here's the downside when you start moving the bottles are going to start falling so obviously my bottles have to be laying down 
all right so for that area you know i wish it could have been a little bit better but guys i'm not really gonna complain once i tell you the price um what i am gonna do and find a way uh, i'm not really good with building but i have some friends that are really good at building and have some nice tools is i'm gonna find a way to make a divider right here and then we're gonna make like little um squares so that i can put my bottles in there as so right and then once i do that the bottles i can stand them up and they're not gonna fall that's the game plan i think and then i'm gonna be putting velcro from this corner all the way to this corner that way i can put my pads uh let me back it up my pads will be kind of like this right all right here so i think i'll be able to fit at least four pads and then once i i need a new one i just take it out bam get a new one right i'm thinking of probably doing some velcro right here too and i can put my little uh three inch ones like all down through the side right there's just so many things i can do with it guys and for the price you might be wondering carlos how much did you pay for this guys i paid i paid 17 dollars and 43 cents on amazon guys less than 20 dollars, i think with shipping and handling with prime guys it is a no-brainer so go check this thing out and if you like it you know get you one it's not gonna hurt your pocket to be honest twenty dollars it won't hurt you so overall guys i hope you guys have a great thursday um i pray that all this rain goes away and i can start working happily again um, but other than that god bless you guys and i'll see you guys on the next video